let's talk about film in Indiana. So, I am a filmmaker, it's what I do, it's who I am, and if you don't know, I've been spending the past few years of my life in Indiana, in the film industry. I've been working in film in Indiana for the past four or five years, ever since I started film school at Purdue University in 2016, and I've been in a lot of roles. I've done production assistant work, I've done videographer work, I've made short films, I've worked on other people's short films, and I even spent a summer out in Los Angeles to see how that film industry compares to Indiana. And since I just moved to Chicago, I thought it'd be a good idea to give a rundown of the film industry that I'm saying goodbye to for anyone who is a filmmaker, wants to be a filmmaker, is looking into studying film, and is wondering whether that's something they should do in Indiana. So, if you're watching this, you might be wondering whether you should study film in Indiana, and if so, where. And the good news is, you've got options. The most well-known places to study film, TV, and broadcasting in Indiana are Ball State University and Indiana University. I've got friends who went to both. They both have media programs that are very closely linked to their journalism programs. So if you want to go into journalism or TV news, then this would also be a very good thing for you. The people I know who have gone to IU and Ball State have good things to say about it especially Ball State. They are very focused on their students' creativity with the annual Frog Baby Film Festival that they use to show off their students' work. Now, personally, I went to Purdue University. They have a film and video studies program for people who are more academically interested in film, and then a film and theater production, which is what my degree is in, which is for people who are more interested in actually producing film and theater. Shocking, it does what the name says. And their film program is smaller than some schools, so you might have a smaller creative community to work with, but there are some very dedicated people there, and you get the benefit of a really well-rounded education in other things besides film. All of that said, most people will go out of state for studying film and TV production if they can. To find the very top programs that specialize in film and put a lot of resources and community toward it, you're going to have to go out of state. But here's my personal opinion on what makes a good film school. It's the community. The big advantage of film schools outside Indiana isn't that they have more resources or the knowledge that they give you is different. It's that they have more film community around them or they're in places like Atlanta or New York or Los Angeles that have a strong film community and lots of opportunities and people you can meet. I highly encourage you to visit colleges in Indiana and if you find a community that you like, give it a shot. Now, another thing you might be wondering about is working in film in Indiana, actually making a living doing film. And I'll start out with the obvious. There isn't as big of an industry as in places like Los Angeles or New York or Atlanta or even smaller cities like Chicago. Especially in narrative film and TV, there aren't quite as many studios that are producing as many shows as in those areas. There are, however, production agencies that produce things like commercials and promos and industrial videos that comprise most of the production in Indiana. There are some very creative people who are producing films on a large scale. In recent years, one of the best known ones has been Pegasus Pictures with their feature films produced in Indiana, but it's not very common. One of the reasons for this lack of production, by the way, is the lack of tax incentives for production. So quickly, many states give production companies a tax break when they film in the state. Indiana doesn't do that. So when productions are looking for a place to film, they'll say, well, Illinois has tax incentives, Ohio has tax incentives, Indiana won't give us any breaks on taxes, so we're probably not going to film there. It's to the point that even projects set in Indiana, like the Fault in Our Stars movie, film elsewhere. That one was shot in Pittsburgh, I believe, and it's kind of a sore spot for Hoosiers. <laughs> there are periodically bills introduced to the state Congress that would bring them back, and the Indiana Film Office always rallies people around those. So, if you're interested in having more production in Indiana, give those a look. So in addition to promo and industrial work and some rare paid narrative positions, there are also shows that come from out of town to Indiana. There's a surprising amount of reality shows that I've worked on, actually. HGTV, shows for A&E that have come to Indianapolis because they have a certain talent that's in Indiana that they want to shoot. And a side effect of there not being many productions in Indiana and mostly coming in from outside is that there are entry-level positions like PA work and videography, but it's a little hard to move up. Because when a team comes in from out of state, they usually have all their higher positions already filled. They're not gonna hire a director or a DP in the state that they're going to for only a few days. It is possible there are some people living and thriving in the Indiana film industry, but that's actually why I moved out, is because it was hard to move up within that environment. And so now that you know the kinds of productions that are going on in Indiana, you might be asking, how do I get on those productions? 
and there are a few ways. There are websites like Production Hub and Staff Me Up that can be very useful. Production Hub has a lot of gigs for free. Staff Me Up has a subscription service, but you can get a few gigs for free through it. So I would sign up and see what you get. There are also plenty of Facebook groups for people posting jobs in film. I'll actually put a list of them in the description. There are groups specifically for Indiana, and then general groups where people will sometimes post jobs around Indiana. I think I got most of my work by just scrolling those Facebook groups every week and looking for jobs in my area. And lastly, there's the old-fashioned way. Just reach out to people and try to find a community. People doing what you want to do at your level or above. There are always networking events where you can talk to folks and see what's going on. Or most people, if you ask them if they want to grab a coffee or a drink, they'll say yes. The only thing is, it's best for them not to ever ask for a job. Just see what's going on, tell them what's going on with you, and in the future, maybe they'll reach out to you. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is making independent film. And this is maybe the most encouraging thing I'm going to say, because this doesn't require any amount of money, it doesn't require any certain location, you can do it wherever you are. And despite what you might think about the Indiana film industry, there is actually a really thriving indie film scene in Indianapolis. The Indiana Filmmakers Network is a great resource. If you're even slightly interested in film, you should definitely follow them on Facebook or any of their other social media because they hold events, mixers, they get industry professionals in to talk about the industry, and it's the best way you're going to meet people in the Indiana film scene. They actually have hubs in Indianapolis, Lafayette, Evansville, Fort Wayne, Terre Haute, Bloomington, and Vincennes, I believe, at this point. My advice for doing independent film is just try and find a group of people and give twice as much as you get. For every person who you ask to work on your project, try and work on two people's projects. It'll probably be easy because there are a lot of small independent projects around. I have a group of friends from Ball State that I actually just reconnected with a while after graduating from college and we made a short film together. It's all about just saying yes to events and hanging out and making friends. I hate thinking about it as networking. I always just prefer to think making friends because that's what it is. You're just making friends with cool creative people and then you get to help with cool creative stuff. And there's actually a pretty vibrant film festival landscape in Indiana and the Midwest in general. Again, I'll link some of these, but if you have a project you want to submit, filmfreeway.com is your best friend. So how do you succeed in film in Indiana? Well, like anywhere else, there's no one way. It depends on what you want to do. Do you want to make music videos? Reach out to local artists to see who wants to make a video. Do you want to work on movies and TV like me? Start making your own things and try to get an internship with a production company. I actually have a friend or two who's interned with Pegasus Pictures and they said it was a great experience. Basically just accept work where you can find it and move toward what makes you happy. I actually worked in live event broadcasting for a while just to have something to do in the industry, the paid. So what have your experiences been with film in Indiana? Is there anything that I missed talking about? Is there anything you disagree with me on? Tell me in the comments and feel free to ask more specific questions. I'll try to answer them if I have any insights to give. Thanks for watching. If you think this was helpful, drop a like. And if you want to see what I get up to in Chicago, subscribe and I'll see you next time.